Court. My name is Claudian Hibbert Smith. I am a two decades, 20 year veteran real estate professional here in the South Florida area where I pretty much was raised. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about my story. And I I'm going to be honest with you. What I'm doing right now is a part of the training. So I want you to take note. All right, we're not going to have beautiful slides and all that stuff. No, I actually want you to take the pen to the paper today um, because that's the only way most people take action, right? You're going to take pictures, uh, screenshots, and you're never going to go look at it again. All right, so, all right, so guys, let's just jump right into it. So again, my name is Claudia Hibbert-Smith. Uh, listen, I had that kid right there is 27. I'm 42. I had him at the age of 14. You can do the numbers. This is a little quick addition and subtraction. Uh, and you know what? Let me tell you this. I want you to know that when I gave birth to him in the ninth grade, 14, people said I wouldn't graduate from high school. People said that I would fail. I would drop out. I would end up in jail. And the truth is, if I kept going that route, I might have. I, I don't know. But talk about speaking life into children. There was really no one around me saying, Claudian, this is a little hurdle, but you can get over it and get to your destiny. I didn't hear those words. So you might be like me today. I don't know what your story is, but you know what? Not only did I graduate at the top of my high school class on purpose, I was the school's vice president, okay? I was not playing any games, okay? If you told me I could not do something, oh, Claudia was on her way to do it. And, you know, I went on to the University of Florida. How many Gators I have on here today? I don't know. Everybody from everywhere. Go Gators. You know, they never thought I would go to the University of Florida, which is next to Ivy League, guys. And, and so not only did I go to the University of Florida, but I graduate at the top of my class again. I did leave my son home so that I could focus. Somebody say the greater the risk, the greater the return. The greater the risk, the greater the return. And so that was a great risk for me, right? And I went on to school and I, I missed four years of his life. I would come home in the summers, but it's not the same, right? I was a, pretty much a baby trying to raise a baby, but I knew that I needed to get out of an environment so that I could make my family life better. I don't know if that was gonna be way of college. I just knew that I needed to expand my brain. Well, I get out and I get something that's called a J-O-B. How many people had a job before? That was me. I wasn't even living from paycheck to paycheck. See, I was living from get a paycheck and paying bills from months ago. And so I don't even know what that's called. Okay, I don't even know if it's called the rat race. I was way past the rat race. And my environment changed my life. I'm going to say that again. My environment changed my life. I remember uh, my seventh grade teacher who had taken me in for a whole year from seventh to eighth grade, coming back to Miami and buying a house. See, I decided I wanted to be in her environment. See, that, that theory of who's around you is very important because that is where I saw a young lady making $45,000 in one transaction in a real estate transaction. And I tell you this, I didn't have job etiquette at the time. So I, I, I tell the story, but I got to say this. I didn't have job et etiquette. I didn't know that I needed to put in a two week, 30 day notice. I didn't even show up. I just called the people and said, I'm not going back because what she just made in 60 days, I make in a whole year. It was not adding up. One and one was not adding up to equal two. And so I quit my job and then I went and figured out how to get my real estate license a little backwards, but I did it. That's just how I function. I don't know if it's the Leo thing. I don't know how many Leos I have on here, but but I aim, I, I, I aim and think about what I did later. And, and so listen, luckily for me, I only needed 63 hours. I was willing to go back to college. I was willing to do whatever I needed to do because at that juncture at 21 years old, I realized I met a profession that did not have a ceiling on the amount of money I could possibly make. It was up to me. And if it's going to be, it's got to be up to me. I want you to write that one down. If it's up to, listen, if it's going to be, it's up to me. And that's kind of the theory that I took on. And guys, the rest is history. I became the rookie of the year. You, you know, I just left my company of the last 20 years, guys. Who's ready to go from good to great? 
How many people are, are ready to go from good to great? That's what I was thinking in April, in March. I was ready to retire. See, my last company, I got complacent. I was, I was, I was tired of being number one. And I know it might sound a little cocky. I, I, I get it. But, but I was tired of coming in number one with no competition coming behind me. You know, we would do millions and millions and millions of production, my team and I, and the next person would be at five million. And it was no, it was no longer fun. I would be telling the owner, the CEO, some of the things we needed to do. I was willing to train for free and they, they just never took me up on it. And I said, I started to start thinking. I started to think maybe it's time for me to retire. Here I am 26 later, 26 years later, pregnant again with, with, with legend. I said, this is perfect timing. This is perfect, perfect timing. And so guys, I say this to say this, I wasn't ready to retire, but I was ready to go from good to great again. See, I had already gone from good to great in my last company, but do you realize that great could literally mean, great could literally mean, great could literally mean Great could literally mean that you're good again. I had gotten into a space of good again because I was complacent. Some of you guys are complacent. I was complacent. And then a burst of energy came. EXP Realty. It wasn't that I hadn't heard about EXP. You know, I didn't have great things to say about EXP. In fact, contracts would come from EXP and we would cringe. And let me let me say this. It was the energy that brought me to EXP. It was the energy. It wasn't all the ways of pay. I didn't even know all the ways of pay. I didn't know all the intricate details. And literally, I made a decision in 30 minutes. I got a phone call from Grant's uh, campaign. And they said, Claudia, we'd love to have someone who's not with EXP on this show. And who's going to say no to Grant? I didn't even ask questions. What was it about and all? Who's going to be on the panel? I said, absolutely. And figured the rest out later. Well, they sent me a flyer with Tarek El Musa, the owner of EXP. They sent me, there were six of us on, on the panel. Grant was on the panel and some other people. All these people had blue check marks with millions of followers. And here I go, little old me, with about 40,000 followers at the time, with no blue check mark. I'm like, I love this. So I get excited. Somebody, somebody type in the box, you get excited. I got excited all over again. I said, let me go back and look at EXP a little bit closely. Let me go back and look at EXP a little bit closely. And in 30 minutes, I called a good friend of mine who's now a part of the company, Jeff Coriolan. I don't know if he's on here, but I said, if, if, if you don't go, I'm not going. I said, I will only go if you go. And he picked up the phone. He made some phone calls. I made some phone calls. In 30 minutes, we were out. He ended up staying. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. He ended up staying with the company for about five or six more months. I joined in April of 2021. I remember calling my husband and saying, it was like I was on a high and then I got to a low. Because Jeff and I would talk every other day. We were at the same company, different offices. But he's like the 33-year version of what I used to be at 33, only improved. And so he, he energizes me. And, and so I, I called my husband and I said, what if my team doesn't go? What if my team does not come? And let me tell you, the people around you are very important, including your spouses. He says, Claudian, if you built before, you can build again. And that is all I needed to hear. I took off. He stayed. I went. My entire team came except one person at the time, maybe 13 to 14 people. I don't know what the numbers were, but I was ready to go. Somebody say, I'm ready to go. I am ready, I'm ready to, go. to go. I'm ready to, I'm ready to go to my next destination. <laughs> Got it. And so let me just fix this really quickly. I want to fix this really quickly. And, and so I get excited. This is where I want you to really start taking notes. Here's where I really want you to start taking notes. I joined the company and I didn't have all the information. See, some of you guys are waiting till you have all the information. You don't need to wait, you get all the information. I'm here to tell you, 
that I never wait until I have all the information. I always make decisions and then think about it later. I figure it out later. I don't know. That's just my process. And it's just one way of figuring things out. But some of you got to move yourselves out of the way. Was I scared? Absolutely. I was with one company guy for 20 years. And I knew that that story would be powerful. In fact, watch this. And I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything right now. I want you to ask yourself, have you made a decision to be all in? See, I was a little nervous at, 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 in the beginning because I would even cringe at EXP. You know, it's a rec recruiting to, oh, those people don't know anything about real estate. They're not learning. And it was a myth. The wrong people were attracting me. It was just the wrong people were attracting me. It wasn't that the company was bad. How many people do we know and really say that are, are with our old companies that weren't good? You know, they just weren't detailed. They didn't take time. How many, do every doctor isn't the best. Every hairstylist is not the best. Every barber is not the best. Every nail tech is not the best. So you go to the people who, who you are attracted to that do service for you, great. So I want you to ask yourself and just write on a piece of paper, have you made a decision to be all in? Some of you, I look at, I'm on Clubhouse, I'm looking at the, the bios and the, and the Instagram bios, and guess what's not there? Guess what's not there? That you even work for EXP, that you are partnered with EXP. That is your partner. And if you don't get excited, who else is going to get excited? See, when I came out, I, I dropped a video that kind of looks like this. I'm going to share it with you. I didn't plan on doing it, but I guess I can you just give me a second? All right, so here we go. Not just Florida. You guys can now join me in business and we can grow together. Expansion, expansion, expansion. Teaching people how I was able to literally go from the bottom and rise to the top. And I still have another level of success. Ooh. though and I want you guys to write this down every caption I have has a call to action write that down you've got to have a call to action and we're going to go over there in detail everything I post have a call to action 95 listen I was showing the baby this morning that doesn't have a call to action okay you know but it's a it's a little sensitive side to me that's going to draw people into what else ever that I'm doing so most of the time, 95%, I have some type of call to action. Meet me, 5, 16, 11 a.m. I made this up. Uh, it's not just about me, but it's about the elevation to our higher selves, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. It's time to set new standards. My health, wealth, impact, da, 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 da. Now, watch this. I copied this. Actually, I didn't. Go partnering with 50 realtors as founding members worldwide. How many people, guys, do we have founding members? Like, do we really have founding members in our organization? No, I created it. I have 50 founding members. People, the first 50 people that started with me are founding members in my organization. I made it up. Okay. I made it up. Do you want to add more real estate to your portfolio? Portfolio. Well, I tell you what, one of those people in that video, I just wrote a $3 million cash offer for. 
So I'm spending my time where people are spending their money and time with me. Who, who's ready? If you're a real estate broker, realtor, or want to become a realtor, any of the three, click the link in my bio. And let me tell you what happens when you do that. Okay, this is important. I want you to write this down. Everyone on here, I'm encouraging you to go to the link in my bio, okay? I'm encouraging you to go to the link in my bio and just copy it. The only thing is don't put your name in there. Just put test, test, and we'll know to delete you out of our, our drip marketing campaign. This is what my link tree looks like, guys. Your link tree could look the same. It is free for three links, $6 a month for a li unlimited link. So this is what happens when they click Realtor Expansion. Here's what happens. Are you ready to increase your real estate production and expand your real estate career? Fill out the form below. I'm asking for their name, email, phone. Why? Because I want to be able to follow up. You need at least eight. to Look how many times I had to touch Jeff. And sometimes the touch is not always when you come to EXP. No, listen, I got a gala. Do you want to go? And guess who's Gala? It's Grant Cardo's Gala. He's inspired. How can you not be? We raised millions of dollars in the room that one night. How can you not be inspired? Hey, listen, we're having a, a meet and greet over here at the Car Cardone building. Would you like to attend? It's free, free lunch. What realtor doesn't want to eat? I do. Right? I have their email address. Do you have a real estate license? So I already know when I talk to them what I'm looking at. Are you currently in real estate school? I know what follow-up system I need to do with that person. When do you expect to obtain your license? Boom. How many years of experience? Boom. Most of you to get on here today filled out a form that looks like this. Why do I use forms, guys? And you can use them on Google Docs for free. It's because I now have your contact information. And you are sometime, somewhere down the line going to get an email from me for something else. All right? What state are you going to be licensed in? Isn't that important? Because we can recruit and attract anywhere in the world. Correct? Does that make sense? So are we making sense? So here, let me go back to this video here. New share. Listen, I am Claudia Ann Hibbert Smith, your real estate coach. Your sales from zero to hero. Let me tell Let's you. Start over. Click the link in my bio. Don't wait. Right now, learn the skill set. Learn marketing. Learn how to 10x your business. Very simple. This is an iPhone. Listen, I, I changed my clothes about eight times that day, and I did about nine videos. So now I had content for the entire 30 days. So let's keep it moving. Is, is this making sense to anybody yet? If it's making sense. Guys, I want you to write this word down. It's massive action. I want you to write down massive action. It's not that I'm good. It's not that I'm great. It's because nobody else will do it. And I know that. Nobody else will do it. And I know that. So if I know the formula, why not do it? You got to take massive action. I'm not famous. I don't know a lot of people. I have a lifestyle. People don't want to make lateral moves. People follow lifestyle. Even I had a hard time figuring that out. Remember, I've been doing this for 20 years. So I got to a place where, okay, I've done the lifestyle stuff. Now I can go settle down and relax. No, but when you get into an orbit that's way huge, you're like, wait, I'm far behind. I got to speed up, right? And so I, I want to go over some notes really quickly. Did you make a decision to be all in? Did you make your announcement? I don't care if you've been here for two years. 
Do you know Nike and Mercedes and all these companies? They relaunch all the time. Don't they? I don't know whose phone is unmuted, but if you can uh, um, just mute your phone. Uh, don't worry, I'll do it for you. I want to get distracted here. All right, ask yourself, have I made a decision to be all in, yes or no? Just answer it uh, to yourself. If you haven't determined, if you're all in, guess what? You got it. That's the first part. You can't be one pinky toe in and one pinky toe out. If you're going to represent EXP to the fullest, it is to your benefit. Guys, we have stock. Like, I got stocks last night again that I didn't even have to pay for. So what did I do when I first joined? April 1st, whatever I joined. I don't remember the day, but it was in April 2021. I took the first week and I, I want you to write this down. There is a video that is floating around. Don't be offended. I'm not even going to call the person's name. It took me about five hours to get through the video. The video was at least 45 minutes. I just could not get with it. The guy is really good, though. I've seen him live. He's excellent. The video, I just couldn't do. So I'm not sending people videos. There's nobody on this call that says that I ever sent them a video. Because if I felt like that, my mind tells me maybe they might feel like that, too. And then it's a turnoff. Sometimes first impressions are the only, only thing. But when I saw the guy was at the top of the, the company, number one, I said, let me go back and look at his stuff. So I want you to take a moment to study opportunity presentations about EXP. Google it. Go on YouTube. Take notes. Determine what you like. Decide what you don't like. And say, or if you're not ready to do a presentation. See, I wasn't waiting on Elena Cardone, who's my direct sponsor. I wasn't going to, I don't care who it was. I wasn't waiting on the person who brought me into the company to take off and, and, and run. I wasn't. One, I wanted to show that I was serious. And two, I wanted to put some numbers on the board. And if you're not ready to do a presentation, it's okay. Pick a presentation that you like and play it on the screen. You can pause and, and talk through the presentation. See, so guys, and just for example, you might get to the rev share. And you're, you're, you're not doing the video like how I'm doing the video. Okay, you're not doing the video yet, but you're playing the video. You can pause that video and say, guys, I just had to stop it right here because this is one area of this company that I love. And I just had to just give my personal reflection. You don't have to do that, but you can Right. If you're anything like me, guys, you got a short attention span. Right. <laughs> I want to be on a presentation for two hours, let alone an hour. So then I said, OK. Claudia and Kiss, I remember what Kiss me. Keep it super simple. Some people say keep it stupid simple. Right. Just keep it simple. I got my presentation down to 30 minutes. I did not go through the 43 page PDF. I use it as a basis and I start like this. And I say, guys, do you mind? This is a 43 page document. Do, do you mind if I just go over the, like the, the, the four that I believe that are most important? Everybody's like blowing up the chat box. Yes, they're excited. So keep it super simple. Kiss. I took notes. I asked questions. I watched more videos. Okay. I started to look at the list of people who were top 10. And I said, let me mimic what they've done. See, I, I'm not into creating anymore. I just copy the right cat when they've already created the system that works. And then I add my own swag. So I want you to add your own swag. 
I might get on here with gold teeth one day. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just, when I turned 40, I just started wanting to do a lot of stuff, right? So you don't know how you're going to catch me one day, right? Don't just send your people to people's presentations. You've got to match personalities. I do not send everyone to everyone's opportunity call. And no, I don't always do the opportunity call, but I'm very mindful of that. I get on there first. I say, oh, I like how he did that. Or I like how she did that. I'm definitely going to utilize that opportunity call. If you're on my opportunity call, you never have to worry about cross recruiting because here's what I always add. Whoever invited you to this call, get back to that person and tell them, put me in coach. I'm ready to play. I always add something funny, right? Everybody's laughing, having a good time. Listen, people get it twisted all the time. Listen, listen to this, okay? Energy is transferable. You do not need to be next to the person or in their presence. Energy is transferable. Oprah is my mentor and she doesn't even know it, okay? There are a lot of people I've not met that are my mentors and they don't even know it. There's so much free content, okay? So that was one of the things I did for the first week. I studied, I looked, I asked questions, I wrote notes. I understood the gist. Did I forget things on the presentation? Yeah, but they didn't know. They didn't know anything about EXP. So some of you are just waiting for the right to know everything. And guess what? They don't, I had a young lady that called me yesterday. I don't know if Sonia's on this call, but she says, Connie, and I got on the call yesterday, but I'm still a little bit confused. I said, listen, she's a new agent. I don't want you to worry about everything. I want you to know that when you come over here, energy is transferable. You're going to be trained for production. You are going to produce if that is your goal. Okay. One of the things I had asked her before is what is your goal? How many of y'all have ever asked someone, what is your goal? They get impressed every time. Hey, Jason, how are you? Let me ask you before you decide, because I know EXP is not for everyone. What are your goals? I want to see if they align with what we have going on. Then they tell me their goals, and then I champion everything that they say. Wow, that's amazing. Well, I know we're going to be a great fit for you. It's not that I'm even really honestly interested in all of their goals. I just be honest. I just know it gets them all the time. I'm not going to remember right away. I talk to too many people. Okay? Guys, are we learning something right now? Are we, are we learning? Are we, if, if, if we're getting some value, just give me a number five. See, five is a special number for me because I was 14 when I had Amari. Four and one equal five. And then when I was 41, the numbers are flipped. I had my next child and that number equals five. And so we're going to go with five today. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 So I want to get through this because I don't want to be here past 11. And then once I do all this research in that one week, I then ask myself, Claudia, what's missing for me? XP bingo. I've not seen anyone take this type of massive action and do a presentation for 30 days straight. Why not me be the first? Brian Colhane, my one of my uplines, co-founder of EXP, said, Claudia, that's crazy. Do you really think you could get 100 people in 30 days? I said, absolutely. Absolutely. And what was I thinking? I made a decision in 30 days. I meant 30 minutes of being with a company for 20 years. Who doesn't get it? Now, did I hit my goal? No, but I didn't stop. So for 30 days straight, I picked a time that worked best for me and my, and my tribe of people. Write this down. Who is my tribe? Who am I attracted to? Who likes what I have going on? See, I have friends that are totally different than me. We have different tribes and it's okay. Before you get started, because I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if people were going to react, not react. I didn't know if I was going to have one person on the call, two people on the call. I didn't know. My first call, I had 68 people on the call. But guys, I didn't know that that would happen. 
And so before you create the call, guys, okay, you're going to come up with a time that works best for you. 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time seemed to be good. I knew I could catch all posts, um, at least at a relatively good time. People like to work in the day. 6.30 sounded like a good time to do it. I wasn't cross, you know, I think it was at 6 because I think we had trainings at 7, and I didn't want to run into that. So I believe that I picked 6 p.m. because of it. Okay, then I created the system. I said, hey, what are you guys doing? I just became a part of this new company. I'm excited. I'm so, I remember going on live saying, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Whatever I needed to do to bring those people to me and attract them to me, I did it. I went out of my comfort zone. Even though it's not out of my comfort zone. Okay, I'm crazy. Okay, I understand. I get it. Okay, but you got to get out of your comfort zone. Do y'all think I really wanted to do it? Do you think by the 10th day I was still ready to do a, a launch call on the 11th day? No, but I did it because I knew it had never been done before. It's called massive action. I would post on Facebook. I would post on Instagram. I would make a list. Guys, I'm going to show you this because I don't want you to think I'm making this up. I use my notepad in my phone now. I used to be a big Franklin Cubby person. And then, you know, technology took over. Can you see that? Can you see that? Let me see. I might have too much light going on. No, yeah, you can see that. You see that list? I started writing all the list of realtors that I knew in my database. And I, the check marks of the people who came. So I wouldn't forget. Some of y'all think y'all just got magic brains. Give it to me. I knew I would forget. I started writing them down. I started meeting with people. I started doing lunches. I started doing lunch and learns. Oh, and for my exclusive people, oh, we've got something for them too. An executive lunch cost me about $21 a plate. Very intimate. The tools of the who's, okay? And they joined. They joined. Oh, you still use Franklin Covey. Amazing. He taught me how to organize. He taught me that stickies were not the best things to use. How to prioritize. So he's, I, I, I love Franklin Covey. All right. So that's that. I wrote a list and I just started inviting people. Well, Claudia, how do you invite people? This is what I would say. Watch this. Somebody unmute yourself. Just give me a volunteer. Ansley, Becky, Jason, I can see you. John Finley, I can see you. Anybody, just, un oh, you can't unmute. <laughs> Let me allow you guys to unmute. All right, go ahead. I'll unmute. Hi. I'll All right, unmute. who was that first? Who, who Marcella. That? Marcella, okay, go ahead, Marcella, where are you? I'm in Atlanta, oh, no. Georgia. So, Marcella, we got a rule. You got to turn your camera on, girl. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hold on. If you want to be participating, yeah, turn your camera on. There right, you look. go. Do I have to show my face too? <laughs> so we'll, we'll come back to you, Marcella, so we give you a chance to oh, get you some, a brush or something because I know that's what it is. So let's go to John Finley for a second. Yeah. Oh, you look wonderful. All right, so Marcella, watch this. Just, just assume that we knew each other. And I called you yeah. up. Hey, Marcella, how you doing, girl? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good, good. Listen, I have a quick question for you. Do you think you have room to make about a million or two dollars more a year? Oh, of absolutely. What do you know that I don't know? So listen, I've got a call going on and for 30 minutes at about 6 p.m. Do you have time to get on that call? It's Eastern Standard Time because I know that you're about three hours away uh, 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 behind. And I know those calls, you're probably going to try and sell me something or some get rich quick scheme. Well, listen, it's not really a, a, a rich, get rich quick scheme, but you already are doing real estate, correct? Yes. Okay. And you're already with a brokerage, correct? Yes. How's that working out for you? Um, so far, so good. So if I could show you how to make real estate commissions and residual income all wrapped up in one and 
a way to earn stock, which is ownership in a company. Do you have ownership in your company right now, by chance? Um, yes, I do. Okay, what company was that? EXP. Okay, well, you, you're not with EXP. Remember, you're with somebody else. Oh, okay. I'm attracted. Um, uh, Mar- you ain't even ready, Marcia. Keller Williams. <laughs> well, you're going to tell me where, but did you have ownership at KW? Um, I don't know if they do or not, but yeah, I'm going to say yes. All right, so let me ask you a question. If you could spend 30 minutes on a Zoom call with me to at least look at an opportunity to be a partner with a real estate company where you can earn stocks, residual income, and 100% commission, would you at least look at it? Yes, I'll take a look. Most people, when you say, do you have room to make a, a million or two? Not depending on the person. If they're a high producer, I'm not going at a million two because that's not important to them. I might go three, four million. So depending on who I'm talking to, those numbers are going to change. That's a very simple quick fix, right? Right? So, so now you guys can unmute. So thank you for that. Thank you for that. Let me take one more. Just I'll unmute go. yourself. I'll go. Go, 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 John. Okay, come on. Let me put you on the screen here. All right. If you're giving out an extra million or two, I'm, I'm in already. <laughs> <laughs> well, this call might go a little different. So, so, hey, John, what's going on? Not much. How are you doing? Y'all, all I want to know is where John get that background from, because I want to go wherever that is in the mountains, okay? You know what? That it's so funny. Serves. I want to go there, too. I don't know where it is. I just saw it. I'm like, that's what I want from a background. I just feel like I just want to zoom. All right, so so what's going on, John? What's good? Listen, not much. Listen, I, this is going to sound very weird to you because I know you've known me for a long time, but you know I've been with my last company for twenty years, right? Yep. And I just went to a different company, and so You're kidding, you know it had to be amazing. Seriously, where did you go? Listen, give me a second for a second, but let me tell you, <laughs> when I realized I could make an additional. <sighs> Four to five million dollars extra a year. I said, why not give it a chance? I went over to EXP Realty. Have you heard about that company? I have. I have. Wow, this is good. Let me ask you a question. What are you doing tonight at 6 p.m.? Um, besides making dinner and chasing kids around, that's about it. All right, cool. You think you have 30 minutes to just focus on some information that I'm gonna share with you? Uh about about what? The benefits of EXP. Um, I've heard a little bit about it. It doesn't sound too interesting to me, but I, I might jump on. All right, cool. So let me ask you a question. Do you have ownership in the company that you're working with now? <clears throat> no. You don't? No. Do they, they, do they offer you stocks when you produce? No. They don't? No. You gotta be kidding me. Wow, that's interesting. Sounds like my story. But let me ask you this. Do they even offer you health benefits or options? Nope. nope. John, let me tell you something. Th- this 30 minutes might change your life. And listen, I'm not asking you to come over, but I, I want to get your opinion on what you think about it. I have already made a decision, but you know what? I respect you. I respect your, your feedback. And I, I'd like for you to, to hear a little bit more about EXP Realty. I think I used to be like you for two years. I said no. And I, I think it was because I wasn't really getting the right information. I just wasn't. It's clear because I wish I would have joined two years ago. I'd probably be a multi, multi millionaire in stocks right now. In fact, some of the stories I've heard, just amazing. A young lady just cashed out her stocks to buy two of her daughter's houses paid off cash. So listen, I I don't know what you're doing at six, but I'm going to see the link. Are you going to click the link? You're going to get access right away. It's about a 30 minute call. You won't be there long. And can I count on you to be there? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really all about selling selling real estate and making commissions, but I had never thought about ownership in a company or stock or anything like that. So I'll check it out. Yeah, I think that's most of our problems. That that, that was my problem too. So we share some of the same similarities. <laughs> and so I'll see you at six. Okay. Now I'm not making this call to him three days before. Why? Because John is going to get busy in his sales and he's going to forget. He's going to forget. It just is. He is. I mean, we, we're human. So I call him about two or three hours before, and I just spring it on him. So those some people I'm going to call, some people I'm going to attract on Instagram. 
When you're on my Instagram and Facebook, you are communicating with people. I don't, I don't know what y'all think. Like I hear people, oh no, I'm too private. No, 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 no. Like if you on Instagram, they're going to find me. Newsflash, they're going to find you anyway. Like y'all think because you're posting, people are going to find you? If I told you about an incident I had not years ago, I was shocked. I, I couldn't figure out how they found that individual. He d- deleted all the text messages that they, they, they somehow in the digital space pulled back up. And, and so listen, you're missing out if you're not on social media. So write that down. You should be posting three to six times a day, at least three on the page. And in your stories, people get caught up in your stories. Watch this. Jason, unmute yourself for me real quick. All right. Hey, Jason, when you wake up in the morning, run, get, get, what do you do? You wake up, what do you do? I go through, I, I pop through my emails and I- uh, Pause, pause. Did y'all hear what Jason just said? I don't think Jason's going to tell us he went to the computer either. What did you pick up? Did you go to the computer or did you go to your cell phone? Phone. So if I know Jason wakes up, okay, all y'all that's, I pray and meditate and all at first. I do too. I make it a habit to do this morning. I, my husband did affirmation and, and meditation and I did prayer. I didn't hear him pray, so I prayed because I knew I was ready to get on the phone. But I don't want him checking me either. Honey, you're in the worldly things before you then. So I made sure. But I'm going to be honest with you. It's not all the time that it works in that order. So if I know Jason's going to pick up his phone, watch this. Who picks up their phone and goes on social media first? Any hands? Right. Right. Honest. Okay. Thank you. Like, Thank you. So if you're on Instagram and I'm not there for you to see me, then who's got a problem? Me. Because if Instagram is being used as a tool to communicate, when Jason wakes up, I'm not there to communicate with him. See, when y'all woke up this morning, if you follow me, and if you're not, follow me. You saw baby legacy today. You saw baby legacy on the screen at my eight o'clock doctor's appointment. I've, I've, it seems like I've become the pillar post child for the 40 and up. So I'm embracing it. I'm going to utilize that to attract more people to me. Some of you guys have dogs and animals. Let me tell you, Elena Cardone, I love her. She will do her presentation just like this on the screen. And that cat just comes walking by. And I'm like, she's not going to flinch. She's not going to say, move, get out of the way. And then he comes back. And she doesn't even lose her train of thought. But here's the thing. I'm all lost. I, I, I'm, I'm like, whoa, I'm confused. Like the, the, the cats in the tree. I'm like, is he not getting stuck by the Christmas tree? But the point is this. People love animals. So can you imagine how many people she's attracting by not saying, move out of the way, cat. Get out of the way. I'm in the middle of my presentation. Or locking them up. What? People love it. I loved it, and I don't even like cats. I loved it, right? I I paid special attention to it. So let me just move on real quick, guys. Are you guys getting something out of this? Right, so you're going to post, you're going to call, and here's your call of action. You're going to do your link tree. That's a whole other session. We can't do it today. If you don't know how to do link tree, we'll do that in another another session if you guys really want to do that, and I'll show you how to Google Doc your link it to your link tree and all that good stuff right but definitely you want to do that if you can google and figure it out do it right and you're going to send them a link why am i sending john a link because i want john to have some responsibility of remembering to be there so when he fills out the link it's going to automatically come back to me his cell phone number and his email and i'm going to text him the link again about five minutes before the call okay I'm going to take, if I don't care if it's 50 people, I'm texting them the link five to 10 minutes before the call, just a reminder, okay? Like I did all of you. Didn't everybody here get a reminder this morning about the call? Oh, you might have missed your email, okay? So so, so he, he, let's, let's move on for a second. So you pick the time. There was a reason of me doing my story before I started. You got to know what your story is. 
I knew the power of my story of being with one company for 20 years and just all of a sudden with no warning, no indication, no thought, no previous thought. I'd already thought about it months ago and said, no, everybody was shook. I was even shook. So what is your story? You should spend one you should spend one or two minutes talking about your story. People are moved by stories. Then they want to know about the other stuff. Okay? So I'm not going to go over my story. You know my story, okay? I I just told it to you. Day 1 comes. So I've done all the research. I've done all the research. I've done all the Everything that I know, I have my presentation, my 43 page PDF. I'm ready to go. And I'm going to pull this up. Do you guys mind if we go to about 11 15? I really want to get, I really want you guys to get this. Some of you guys have been on my presentations before. All right, so I'm taking massive actions, I'm committing to 30 days launch opportunity call people are like who is that like this is crazy she's good I, wow she's gonna do that she just got into the business you gotta create the buzz don't wait for somebody else to create the buzz okay so watch this the people come on and i say exactly this can you guys see my screen john i can see you can you see my screen yes okay cool I don't go over any of this stuff. Oh, wait a minute. I, I, I don't go over that. I don't go over it. Like, nobody cares about this stuff. I stop at the founder because we have to pay respect to our founder, Glenn Sanford, that I love because guess what? He has a background in real estate. And I tell this story. If you don't know his story, you need to find out. I do not go over this, okay? I don't know about you, but in history, I never wanted to look at what they did in the World War I, and then here are the dates. I, I don't want to be tested on that stuff, okay? I know it happened. I know why it happened. I, I don't need to know when and all that. So I don't go over that. Guys, what, who, what company is going to say that we have turmoil, we have lawsuits? We, nobody's going to put that there. So this is really all subjective. Would you not agree? We don't need to spend time here. We're going to assume that we have a community because we're going to talk, talk about it, service, collaborate. I don't need to go over that. Boom, I stop right here. Why do I stop here? I stop here because I had an experience with Blockbuster. I remember going to college and going to get my Blockbuster movies, even out of college, for two days, 48 hours, and hurrying up and taking it back to avoid the late fee. I make it out of a joke. How many other, how many of you have done that? Oh, we got to hurry up and watch this movie because we don't want to pay late fee. And all of a sudden, who would have thought? How many people on here really? Now, I'm not talking about in hindsight, before. How many thought you ever thought Blockbuster would go out of business? No. And the truth is, I just started watching Netflix. I couldn't get into it. I wanted to go to the movie theater. It was date night for me. But when COVID hit, you couldn't do date nights. You had to be watching something, right? Netflix. Same thing with Circus Idiot. I, let me tell you something. I grocery shop on Amazon. Because when I go into the store, it is no longer income producing activity for me. And I draw in these other two examples that I had in my lifetime. I remember when I was selected, you had to be selected to buy Google stock back in the day when they first launched. I was in my early 20s. And I bought a whole heap of stock and I sold it too quickly. Same thing with Bitcoin. A girlfriend of mine, very techie, says, Claudia, you got to buy Bitcoin. It's like $200 a coin. I don't believe in any crypto. What are, what are you talking about? What do you, what do you mean we're not going to have money anymore? Like, this is for, that, that's crazy. I go to the MLS. I plug in the listing. And where it says ways to pay, boom, Bitcoin. I go to Google. This is two years later. The coin is like $2,000 a coin. I'm like, dang, I missed out. Target's now taking the coin. I'm like, why didn't I just not make the investment? I didn't. How many people know that 
if I would have known that Bitcoin would have gone to 60,000 a coin, I would have bought at 2,000 a coin. I didn't know. I didn't believe. And a lot of you right now are with your old companies because you don't believe that we're going into a digital market. I can give you an example after example. Those were my personal example. You're going to MLS now, and some of you may not be a realtor on there. Obviously, you all are, but this is me in the presentation. Some of you are, are not realtors. So maybe you don't understand how to put in an MLS just yet. But now it no longer says Bitcoin. Can anybody tell me what it says? And they say cryptocurrency. I said, so now we're expanding. So what are we doing here at EXP? Boom, I tie it in. I go to the next thing. We have all this 50 hours of live training. Boom, then I take out my whiteboard. Okay, I didn't understand what this looked like. And I'll be honest with you, even though we had caps at my last company, my first year I was, all, I was grandfathered in. I did so well that I was grandfathered in. I didn't really know what a cap was. So I, it didn't make sense when they showed me this. So then boom, I pull out my... I say, okay, let me, I always wanted to be a two school teacher, which is true. We own an all boys school, K, K, K through 12, right? I, I couldn't be a school teacher. They weren't paying me enough. So we just opened up our own school. All right. So, and then I start doing commission one and I start doing the example. If you get $10,000, 80% goes to you, right? Which is what? $8,000. 20% goes to EXP, which is $2,000. When you do this several times, this, this is what happens, God. I'm doing this in the presentation. Right? How much money? I'm, I'm coming out of presentation. I'm asking you, how much money have I paid EXP so far? Put it in the chat box. 4000 Good. So when that 4000 turns into $16,000, guys, it's called something, it, it's called cap. So I'm able to cap and go to 100% commission. And guess what? If I do 20 more deals out of that, EXP is going to give me $16,000 worth of stock. Do you realize that the whole time you could have been making, you've really been making 100% or more? What happens to stock over time? Yeah, it goes down. But I believe that we're going in an era where we're going up. And boom, I go through the presentation. I'm not going to go through the presentation here. Guys, do you, does this make sense? Then I'm done with the presentation and I say this. See, I just copied the right cat. Elena started saying, uh, have you heard enough to make a decision? I started saying, well, if you've heard enough to make a decision and I invited you to the call, send me a text message to say, I'm ready to go. Whoever invited you to this call, get back to that person and tell them, Suzanne, Sparks, put me in coach. I'm ready to play today. And I tell them that. And then I thank you. You know, sometimes I do Q&A, sometimes I don't, right? And so that is the presentation. So what did I do day one? I posted. I had a call to action. If you're interested in going to from good to great, if you're interested in expanding your real estate territory, if I'm just giving you different ideas. If you are ready, if you are ready, if you are a realtor, a real estate broker, or up and coming realtor, and you want to go into a different level of success in real estate, drop, click the link in my bio. Now, if you're on Facebook, you're going to say, click the link right here. And, you're gonna, you know, they two recognize links differently. So you got to know that. Okay. And you start to communicate with the people. You did the presentation at six o'clock. It came and went, what do I do next, Claudia? There's something called book a meeting from a meeting. Write that down. Book a meeting from the meeting. I'm going to get off of that call and I'm not going to go and drink a, some a, a champagne and relax. I'm going to pick up the phone, look at the list of people that were there, and I'm going to do what? Can somebody tell me what I'm going to do next? Just unmute yourself. Yes. Follow up with them. Follow. I'm going to follow up and I want you to write this down. I call them. What do you like best about the call? I don't ask you what you think. I don't care what you think. 
because you might think something negative negative what did you like best about the call i am framing their thought process that if they were thinking something negative they have no space to give it to me right here and then when they tell me everything that they love best about the call i champion it and i say wow i thought the same thing this is great wonderful I agree. Guys, does that make sense? What do you like best about the call? Man, you know, they, and they don't remember everything. Man, I love the idea of having stocks. And one of the reasons why I haven't left corporate America yet is because, you know, I, I need my health insurance. But now, guess what? We have health insurance options for less than 60%. And we're going to show you how to produce. But let me ask you something, Alan Bynum. Let me ask you, what are your goals? I hit them with the question, what are your goals? And then they tell me all, oh, well, I don't want to do this. You know, I've been with my company and I just got here. And then I hit them with this. Are you choosing legacy? Write this down. I know I'm saying a lot, so I'm gonna let you guys catch up. Are you choosing legacy right now? I want to leave you with this. Uh, Alan, I, this is a great conversation. This is if somebody's giving me pushback. I don't push people. They're going to come eventually because I'm just going to keep showing up. I'm not going to give up. I realize I have people banking on me to fail, which is crazy. But Alan, I want to leave you with this. I want you to think about something. Y'all hear the tone in my voice? Totally different. I went from height to let me leave you with this, Alan. Thank you, one, for taking the time to spend 30 minutes on the call with me. I truly value your time and I appreciate it. But I want you to think about this. Legacy or loyalty? Are you going to be thinking about your own legacy or your loyalty to a company where you have no ownership Well, well, EXP is just a recruiting company. I don't know, because if you work at the dealership, it seems like they're recruiting car salesmen. I, I don't know what real estate company or brokerage out there could survive with no realtors. So is it fair to say that they're recruiting too? They're attracting? So you mean to tell me, Alan, you know, I might have said this before. Uh, Alan, you, you might want to tell, this is if you're getting opposition. So, so Alan, you, you, you might want to explain to me that, let, let me ask you, have you brought people into your current car? Unmute yourself, Alan. Hey. Alan, were you a realtor before EXP? Yep. Okay, cool. So when you, did you ever invite people to join the brokerage that you were with before? Never. No. Okay, let's just assume he says yes. What would Alan get from that? Thanks, Alan, for inviting uh, uh, Isabel over to, to our company. He'd get a, 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 maybe a $50 gift card, if that. He would not get stocks. He would not get options. He would not get rev share. I want to show y'all this. And I, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but I'm going to show it to you. And then we're going to wrap up. If this doesn't hit home, I, I don't know what will. And a lot of you guys may or may not have seen it. But I show the rev share calculated because it was the most enticing thing that, that I saw. So watch this. John, what's the average sales price in America? Four fifty. I'm going to go with 350. Is that okay? Yep. And the, av the agent, an average agent sells about how many units per year? Six. All right, cool. 3% commission? Yep. By the way, my last three listings were all at 7% listings. So don't cut yourself short, guys. All right. Now, I brought in 33 people when I came into the company. I don't typically start here, but for the sake of time, in fact, no, let's start with 10. 
We brought 10 people in for the first year. Okay? Those 10 people, I need you to pay attention, guys. If you're driving right now, this is, I'm in presentation. If you're driving right now, this is like, I need you to really pay attention. If you're with the kids, just put them down for a little bit, five minutes. Because when you bring in that 10 and they start to duplicate, maybe they're not on fire like you. They're only bringing in two per, per person. And this two only brought in three and so on. You get the point, correct? <laughs> you get it. And when I calculate, when I saw that I could make nearly a million dollars by just inviting people to a company that's going to expand, I know because just three years ago, there were only, what, less than 10,000 people and now we're over 70,000 people in record time. But I want to show you what I was able to do when I came in because of, I took massive action. I had 30 people, 33 people join my organization in the first 30 days. And let's just assume nobody else is on fire like me. I'm just going to calculate. Guys, when I saw that I could potentially make an additional $6 million a year, why would I choose loyalty over legacy? Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you guys? Does that Definitely. make sense? Yes. All right, cool. So day one, okay, so day one, and we're about to wrap up. You're going to post. You're going to post three to six times. You're not always going to post, come, 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 come. Drop some real estate tips. What's going on in the FHA market? The limits have increased. Did you tell the people that? Did you tell, jump, tell the people jumbo loans have increased? Give the people information. People just don't want to see beautiful cars and houses all day. Yeah, we want to see that too, but we want information. People want to know that when they need information, I hear this all the time. Claudia, you're always dropping free gems. Get on Instagram for a minute or two. You don't have to save the live if you're not comfortable. Go on live, they'll see it. Okay? Day two, same thing. Post, eight o'clock, noon, five o'clock. It doesn't always have to be come join EXP. It could be, I, I do testimonies. I do testimonies. Have a young lady I share stories. I'm so proud of Gerleen right now. She was had her license for eight months prior to coming with me. She was working every day. She's a hard worker, but gosh, she was in the mall at a kiosk selling houses. Let me ask you a question. What do y'all do when you go to the mall? What are you going to the mall to do? Shop in the stores that are there. You're not going to look for a house. She was doing the wrong thing. Guys, she's been with me for less than five months and she's at 15, 16 deals. All you got to do is follow the right cat. People don't do that over three years. She listens and she ap applies. All right. So that's what your days are going to look like every day. In which way, I'm going to be dropping a content calendar um, sometime in the next 24 hours. And I'm going to tell you where to dial. Let me get you this before I forget. Um, hold on. Let me see here. Call audience. Let me, I'm going to put it here in the chat box. 954-231-2111. If you want a detailed calendar of 30 days of production, okay? 30 days of production. You're going to text the word, text, attract to that number, okay? You're going to just text attract to that number, and you will be able to uh, download a copy of the content calendar that I created for all of you to do and create massive action. And so I just want to make sure I haven't forgotten anything here. Nope, I haven't. And I do the same thing for 30 days, the same thing for 30 days, and the same thing for 30 days. And guess what? Just because I launched one time, you hear me use the word launch, it's the opportunity call. Um, I definitely um, call it a launch because I'm launching a new business, okay? And you need to extra, extra, read all about it and come here with me. 
guys, when you create that doc form, what's going to happen is you're going to get a ton of people and a database of people. My database is over a thousand strong and I've only been here since April. These are people that I hit all the time that didn't bite the first time. And then I do want to show you one thing before we go. Celebrate people, okay? Celebrate the people in your business. Celebrate the people that are coming to your business. You just have to. You, you've got to welcome them in. Um, when somebody is joining your team, welcome them to your team. Welcome them to your team, okay? I just, I'm going to be posting this shortly after I hang up with you guys. But I want to show you this because this is important, okay? Crystal reached out to me. Can you guys see that? My Instagram? John, shake your head if you can see that. Yep. Yes. All right, cool. So this is this is uh, Crystal from New York who brought in with her uh, Jeanette from California. You see how the team starts to expand? This all happened yesterday. Watch this. Celebrate your people. Announce that they've been with EXP so people can see your growth. I'm not waiting for people to celebrate me. I learned that a long time ago. I am celebrating myself. When Elena told me, all of us, if you were on the training call, I was number one in her entire downline of 500. Number one of attracting. I did a banner. I'm not waiting for Elena to do a banner. She's busy. Number one attractor and growth realtor. Boom. 4,000 views. You're not in the TEDx empire. Make your own empire. 